just that side. Now, one thing in here is when we have tracks on this display, that is not necessarily a radar. The jet takes all the sensors on the airplane and fuses that, so it is an aircraft sensor track. The radar may be doing all of it or just part of it. It could be my IRST, it could be uh, electronically, I'm just passively tracking the target. Now, if I want to, I can find out exactly what's been true. It could be from an off-board source over data link. I don't really know, you know, necessarily all, know or care. If I want to, though, I can easily find out. But what's that? What's that dash box over there behind the information box? This? No. Well, no, the green one or blue, whatever color. Yeah, that. What is that? Those are just pre-planned lines that you okay. can put. You can three different you can kill colors, boxes, sort of kill boxes, FIBA lines, uh, rosins, anything like that. I can, I've got three different ones that I can program in. I think up to 20 points per line to define it. So it doesn't have to be a, you know, a square. You can zigzag it all around. Burner is uh, out. That's oh, after burner. That's after burner. Okay. There's, there's, actually no, there's a, no detent. Well, it. there's just a it's a, a artificial electronically controlled. There's a little, little bump right there. You'll feel that mill power. You mentioned about the, the sensor fusion. It, are all of those going to be of uh, weapons quality to be able to shoot on? When I, whenever I designate a target, it automatically goes to weapons quality track. We have what's called situational awareness track. So when you just see people on the display, that's a situational track. And when I designate it, put it in the shoot list, then it goes to weapons quality. It'll pull whichever is the most accurate. I can do eight air-to-air -air and 16 air-to-ground at one time that are weapons quality. I can have a hundred tracks that I'm just monitoring out there. So not everything, and then the, the, the sensors knows, it looks at each track and goes, what information do I need? And, and when it needs to, it goes back and updates it based on the dynamics. Okay. Put a bogey out there for me. Let me So that guy is now weapons quality because I put the when he has that red circle around him. Okay. So he is right over here, 64 degrees that way. So if you turn and pull that direction, all right. I'm not sure if we can hit him or not since he's going away from us. But let's see. He's in the box. Stop turn. Yeah, he's right over here. Uh, he's 20 miles of going straight away from you. So I don't oh, think okay. we're going to so catch him. Okay. Unless he turns, the, anyhow, he is. That's where he's at, straight up over there. Okay. And that's uh, you fly here? altitude and then the uh, AGL no, is no. below it. This is yeah. This is, AGL, right? This is all radar. Three mountain boys. Okay. Radar Good altimeter. Guy okay, went through TX course from up there. He's probably not there anymore. I'm trying to remember his name. Todd something, I think. Long time ago. Retired? I am, yeah. I'm a civilian employee at Luke now for the Wing Commander. Oh, cool. Who's the Wing Commander out there in the place? His name's Kurt Neubauer. Kurt? You know? I know Kurt. We were stationed together. I know him. Goodness gracious. I haven't heard that name in a while. Yeah. Back when I was, you know, we were captains. He came together. in, he came in uh, in July. I know he was still on active duty. What about that? He'd be General Neubauer now. Mm -hmm. Like a pig staring at a wristwatch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs>